Oh, look at that, glossy lids and a glossy lip. Let's get into it. <gasps> I know, right? I'm... Looks like I'm giving myself bruises. <laughs> Ooh, yes, okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking, yeah, Ooh, fresh and summery. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we're going to create a summery look featuring some of Dior's summer collection. I didn't even take this. This is like a free gift from the website, from Dior's website. I've noticed Dior has started to have like exclusives on their website, and not everything is sold at Sephora anymore, which is wild, which also my favorite setting powder from them. They're my favorite backstage, the no, uh, no powder powder is exclusively on Dior. Anyway, they gifted me some of their summer collections who are gonna be, you know, creating a nice kind of full glam summer look. I don't wanna just do like summer looks that are just Look at that, glossy lids and a glossy lip. No, we're gonna have some fun with this. So right now I have my foundation on, talk about and mention in the info below, but I'm currently doing a foundation review. So that's why I already have my foundation on. Not, not an exciting part of this video, but let's get into it. So today I wanna to contour with Makeup Forever's HD Face Sculpting Palette. And I have the shade 2M0, I believe that's what the shade is. So we're gonna go ahead and contour and bronze with this. Let's see, let's see. All right, for contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here. And actually, I'm gonna use my finger. <gasps> I know, right? I'm been really into trying that out recently. So you guys, if you are familiar with my videos, you know I like to underpaint. That's what I'm doing. I like to create a little bit of lid space. <laughs> That's not really there. So why not with your finger? Let's try it out. Looks like I'm giving myself bruises. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in with my damp sponge. Not bad. I also have the other Makeup Forever palette like this. It's not the sculpting palette. I think it's like the bronzing and highlighting palette and I really like it. So this is the first time I'm trying this palette today. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking the little finger thing we did. Quick and easy. All right, for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna use an Il Maquillage foundation brush. Any stippling brush will do. Give myself a good underpainted bronze before we go in with the Dior Summer Collection, which also makes a great Mother's Day gift. Dior right now has a lot of good Mother's Day gift ideas, perfume bundles, things like that. I have worn Miss Dior for years. First purchased it in my early 20s and it's just been in my collection ever since. And they did have a lot of good bundles of Miss Dior and Miss Dior Blooming, which smells really good. I've never bought that one, but I have smelled samples and it smells really good. It's just a more floral version of Miss Dior. Anyway, good and bronzed, I feel. Okay, I like the bronze situation out of this palette. Next, for underpainting some cheeks, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blushes in La Piscine and Soleil. Soleil is like a, you know, a golden kind of shimmery shade, almost like a highlight. And La Piscine is just a really nice baby pink, which will go with the highlighter from Dior from the Summer Collection. I'm gonna mix these two together to give me a nice summery pinky cheek. Build that up with my beauty sponge. It's actually the Fenty football sponge. I really liked it because I like football and it came out with the Super Bowl, but it's time to retire her. And by the time I wanted to get another one, they were already sold out and discontinued. I just like how big it is and it's a football. I don't know. I feel like I can really apply my makeup quickly with it. I almost didn't use it. And then I was like, no, that's silly. You should, you should use something that you love. Ooh, yeah, this is giving us a nice glow that we're gonna love here in a second with the Dior bronzer and blush. Yeah, ooh, fresh and summery. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 1W, 1.5W. If you can hear scratching, because I'm in the middle of the move, the uh, chickens have a temporary coop and I can hear them from my studio. They have a temporary coop right now going back and forth to the house until we get all of our stuff moved over there. So that's the scratching you're hearing. Very summery, you know? Since cleaning out my makeup 
I'm really falling back in love with products that I forgot that I loved so much because I actually can see everything that I own now and know where everything's at. It's not cluttered with like makeup that I was emotionally attached to because something was from a limited ed edition collection. Um, so it's really nice. And I forgot how much I love the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. All right, for powder under the eyes, I'm going to use the new Laura Mercier Translucent Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder. This is new and I'm wondering if it's replacing the Candle Glow Powder, which will be sad if they're really discontinuing that. I'm not actually not quite sure. This seems very, very familiar. It feels a little heavier to be honest than the Candle Glow. It feels a little heavier, but it's nice. I feel like it's definitely giving me a luminous type of finish. To bake, I'm gonna use the one size powder. I told y'all this is summer full glam. No, no skimp in here. I do have a few more like natural light makeup tutorials that are already out, even a no foundation one, a true no foundation makeup tutorial. And I got a comment that made me laugh so hard. They were like, oh, finally a no foundation look that's actually no, not a bunch of concealer instead of foundation. <laughs> it's like, no, this is truly a no foundation look. But it is true. I feel like I've seen the majority of no foundation makeup tutorials. They're just like a bunch of different shades of concealer all over the face and it's like uh that's just at this point a full coverage <laughs> foundation routine honey yeah Ooh, fresh and summery all right it is time to unzip i love this makeup case it was free with my order but you know Aura, ha, 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 hi, where are you? I'm so excited about this eyeshadow palette. The Dior eyeshadow palette in Eden Rock Edition Limite. <laughs> All right, oh, oh, she's pretty. It's the first time I'm opening her and I'm so excited to create a look with this. I want to go warm and smoked out blue. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just remove that tray. <gasps> look at this blue. I love orangey shades with, can you, excuse me, orangey shades with blues. <gasps> I don't even want to touch it. Look at the like the fabric press. What is that called? You know when they press, let's just do this. Oh, oh, super soft. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they're like much more shimmery than I expected. Okay, this might be fun to even just like apply these with my fingers. Oh, this blue is actually pretty uh pretty vibrant. Okay, should we just do like a full smoky lid with this brown? Oh my God, look how pretty. Oh, okay, I feel like we have to use all of the shades to be honest. Oh, I forgot an eyeliner, hold on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dust this shade all over my lid, all over, in the crease and all over. I love how warm it is. Oh, that's nice. I'm just gonna dust it on my lid as well. There are so many people doing construction on my street. I'm so sorry if you keep hearing it. It doesn't really bother me when I see and I hear it in other people's videos and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, girl, that's life. Like, does it really bother people to hear like knocking around outside? Like, what can you do? When you work from home, I swear to God, you always get neighbors that decide to do something as soon as you start filming. It's like, okay, girl, it's time to build this shed. <laughs> it's like, no. No. Don't build the shed today. Ooh, this has like a golden shift. So all of these shades are extremely shimmery. Oh, I have, I have like a hair in my eye. Okay, interesting. Ooh, that's a nice, oh, it's got such a pretty shift. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and ground it with this center shade. I hate messing up this design of this eyeshadow palette, but it's, it's too pretty not to use. They also have another one that's like neutrals and kind of more gold shimmeries. Oh, this is a nice taupe. Oh, that's a nice tote. Oh my gosh. What can I say? That's a nice tote. I think in my mind right now, I'm thinking I need to apply this blue with my fingers and she's going all over the lid. Wow, oh my God, every single eyeshadow really gives you a glow. I have a couple of Dior's eyeshadow palettes, but they are not glowy like this one. I'm gonna kind of contour my lids underneath my brows to just kind of get that strong ooh, look, bring that deeper shade right underneath the beginning of my brows here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, she's feeling high end today. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna wipe this bake off because it's time. Take some of these shades underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 202. I'm really loving this brand's brushes. Very soft, very luxe. I'm just gonna take that warm shade here right underneath my lower lashes. Oh my heavens, this is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and blend with this brush because we have the blending shade on it. Oh, you 
could honestly, oh my God, I hope you guys can see that glowy shift we have going on. So pretty. I'm gonna use another BK Beauty brush. This is a 203, very soft. Their brushes, okay, I was sent like a few of their brushes. Very soft, never poke or stab. I'm really, like I love my Refer collection, okay? But like direct comparison, these are a little bit softer. And you know, sometimes soft with different formulas isn't the best. Sometimes you need something a little stiff, a little pokey to lay down pigmentation differently and like more impactfully. But for today, a little soft blush. Uh, what? <laughs> blushes. Brushes are key for that like blown out look. Ooh. <gasps> now I'm going to go in with a refer number 12, which is a domed brush. And I'm going to use this deep brown shade here. Oh man. Look how, look how, you know, I should stop saying shimmery. These are very glowy and I'm just going to stamp the outer part of my eye. It's a good way to give yourself a guide of like where you should go under and over. It's just kind of like a nice cheat there, especially for hooded eyes, hooded lids. Just keep your eye open and you can contour this way and boom, you know, of course you need to blend, but it really gives you a quick guide to where you should apply your eyeshadows if your, your hoods are lidded. So stamp under and over and then you can blend it out, extend it from there but keep your eye open because if you keep your eye open you're gonna apply your eyeshadows like they are more open and this is for all my hooded lids gals if you have lid space you can do whatever you want but that's a little cheat code for us with not as much lid space okay very happy with the contoured shape we have going this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous and I am definitely gonna have it in my summer rotation Ooh. She's pretty. Okay, now I have a really good idea for the blue in this white. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger. I'm gonna go right into the blue and I'm just gonna press this on my lid, starting in the outer portion near that brown and then blend it into the inner corner there. Ooh, and the more you blend with your finger, the more the shimmer becomes a little more apparent with this blue. Oh, it has such a pretty golden shift. Ooh, yes, she's summery, but she's smoky. Do the same thing over here on this lid mm -hmm. and just keep blending with my finger. These shadows are very soft. And because they're so glowy, I feel like you can totally, and I'm gonna try this, let you guys know what I think. I'm gonna try to apply this eyeshadow palette using just my fingers. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that with my brush. And now I'm gonna take my finger again, and then I'm just gonna really press just in the center, nowhere else, to really just give myself a pop of something there. Ooh, this eyeshadow palette's making my hazel eyes kind of like whiskey green, you know? Ooh, that's fun and fresh. And I'm just gonna blend this. Yes! Ooh, there's something special there. That shift on these eyeshadows is just <gasps> stunning. All right, now time for the white. Girl, I am gonna take this all the way in the inner corner and I'm gonna give myself a strong brow highlight because I have been so into the old school inner corner and brow highlight lately, just making it a little chicer. And this is the perfect palette to do that. I'm gonna take that white shade there and I'm just gonna kind of really go in strong with this in the very inner corner and bring it up all the way to my brow. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's very, very golden. The shift on this is so golden and it's so pretty. And if you have hooded lids, another little tip, just tilt your head back to really get into the inner corner because just like closing your eye, your, you know, the fat on the upper lid really just kind of still drapes over your upper lid. So to really get where you want to go, you got to tilt your head back. <gasps> oh, that's really, oh, we're getting somewhere. And now for a stronger, brow bone highlight. I'm going to take the white with a pencil brush. This is a refer 03 and I'm just going to swipe it along and past my brow. And then I'm going to blend with my finger. Ooh. Oh, I'm so into this right now. I'm so into this. Oh, it makes me so happy. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Yes. That is a strong statement. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror. This is a strong statement and I'm here for it. This white is so pretty with that golden shift that you could really use this as a face highlight. All right, now I'm just gonna take the same shade and just apply a little more in the very, very inner corner for a more concentrated highlight here. 
<gasps> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very blown out, very pretty. I am, there are so many ways you could wear this eyeshadow palette. You could skip the blue and be completely neutral. You could throw this white on and just have like a really pretty kind of golden shift on your lids with mascara and go. Or you could really smoke it out and leave the blue on the outer corner and really kind of make it a little more bold, you know? I love it. For liner, I'm gonna go with a very vibrant brown liner. This is Huda Beauty's Berry Brown, and I am going to take this all in my waterline and wing this out before we smudge it. I felt like the brown eyeliner, you could use any brown liner. I feel like it would just gonna really enhance that blue and everything else. Now I'm gonna take a BK Beauty brush in 204 and smudge that. There's a clean, clean smudge and I'm just gonna wing this out straight out. Oh, you could skip this part. Like I said, we're going full glam today. Full summer glam. Again, I'm just gonna smudge this liner. My lower lash line, clean brush. Well, you know, it's got a little liner on it, but no other eyeshadows. And I'm gonna take this straight out. Oh yes, yes. All right, now I'm gonna apply some lashes. I'll be right back. I'm going to apply the Lily Lashes Brown Blended Collection. This is the style Undone. It's They're basically the length of my natural lashes, but the blend of brown and black, I thought would be really pretty with this. You could skip lashes, keep it like more simple glam, apply some mascara, but I'm gonna apply lashes because I sew full summer glam, full glam summer, summer full glam. Yeah, ooh, fresh and summery. Okay, before I apply my lashes, I wanted to show you, look how pretty this is with just some light mascara. I figured we would do the rest of the face stuff while I let my glue dry. So we're changing up the order of events here. So the next face thing, wait, is this the bronzer? No, that's the highlight, which I'm so excited to use. Both of the shades look beautiful, but look at this packaging. <gasps> it's fabric and it's squishy and it's, it sticks out. I think it's so pretty. This is the bronzer in the shade Warm Bronze. Again, this is limited edition. So the summer collection is limited edition. Look at the print on the powder. It's so pretty. I got, yeah, I picked out the shade 005 Warm Bronze. I felt like that would be my personal best shade. So we are gonna bronze it up. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty brush in 104. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes I have to go deeper in brands for bronzers to make them look more natural on my skin tone. So that's why I tend to go a little bit darker for bronzers. Just my yellow skin tone really has a hard time looking good with a lighter bronzer. So definitely go based off of skin tone instead of skin like shade, you know, like how light you are when it comes to bronzers because you can always apply less. <gasps> Yeah, ooh, this is nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze her up because yeah, that looks really nice and natural on my skin. And I always like to extend my shadow with my bronzer. I like to have my makeup seamless at all angles so you don't have any gapping or stopping or starting. This is a really beautiful bronzer. Um, wow, I've said this before on my channel, it's really hard for me to be blown away by bronzers because bronzers just tend to be powdery. So I would not be saying this <laughs> if it weren't true because I don't really say much about bronzers unless I'm obsessed. This is a really great shade for me and I feel like the powder itself is just really nice and uh, soft. Gives me like a soft focus bronze. I need to stop because I'm gonna get too carried away. This packaging though. Again, I will have everything that I'm using linked in the info below. All right, to top it off before we apply lashes, I'm going to use, oh my God, I haven't opened this yet. This, I think this might be my favorite packaging. This is limited edition. This is like a, it's vegan leather, you know, with the Christian Dior. Oh, that's so pretty. I chose the shade, I can't see. Glaucoma 002 Coral Cruise. Again, limited edition. Look at the prints. She's more champagne-y, peachy. I like to use a deep champagne-y, rosy, peachy type uh, highlighter with summertime because it gives you more of a sun-kissed look rather than just like a simple golden highlight. Yeah, Ooh, fresh and summery. Okay, so as I was talking, I realized my lash glue was ready to go. So here we are with lashes, but you guys saw what it looked like with mascara and I thought the whole look was beautiful. I just, it's a glowy, like smoky, seamless look that I am just absolutely loving. Back to the luminizer. Again, this is the shade Coral Cruise. I feel like this is gonna give me a nice kind of like sun-kissed highlight. So I'm gonna use, let's try this. I'm going to use Actually, yeah, the BK Beauty 104 brush. I'm gonna dust this on top of my cheeks. 
Oh, that is, that is so pretty. I've always loved Dior highlighters, so <laughs> this is no shock. This packaging is, oh my God, how luxe and summery do we feel? Oh my gosh, this highlighter. It is not as pinky as it looks. Other highlighter, the golden one was sold out. And I'm like, why is everyone just not going for this? I feel like it's, oh my God, so summer appropriate. I need to stop, I'm getting out of control. <gasps> Ooh, this is perfect for this look. Okay, stunning. Look at that highlight. It goes so beautifully with this sun-kissed kind of full glam summer look. Now I'm just gonna blend all of my face together. Do you guys see that? <gasps> with the brow highlight and the gorgeous face highlight. Okay, I am all about it. Last, but very not least, the new Dior Attic Lip Glow in 004 Coral. Some of my favorite shades to wear together in the summer are blues and oranges. So I had to go for the shade Coral. Look at it. I'm gonna first apply it by itself so you guys can see it and then pair it with a lipstick. Look at that applicator. I love a good fat applicator. Oh, it gives you just like such a nice, and before this I had just had clear lip oil on. The Dior Maximizer. <gasps> oh, it's really pretty on its own. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cherry oil infused. Color awakening, nourishing. Look at the hot orange. I did paint my nails inspired by today's video. No, I'm just, you know, I'm not dedicated. Okay, so I'm gonna pair this with a lipstick really quick to finish off the look, but it's gorgeous without it. Mm, mm-hmm. All right, the lipstick I chose to pair with it is Merit's lipstick in the shade Cabo. I thought this would be such a pretty deep orangey red with this look. And then we'll apply the Dior Attic Lip Glow right. Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil with cherry oil. <gasps> yes, and I'm not gonna use a lip liner because I don't want this look to be completely structured. Still want it to be kind of popsicle lip, you know, look. So that's the shade Cabo. I think this is beautiful. You could structure it with a lip pencil. It just takes casualness out of the shade a little bit. All right, now let's do the Dior Lip Glow Oil right over for an extra corally glaze. Ooh, glam. Glam popsicle lips, yes, thank you. Well, this is the final look using the Dior Summer Collection along with some other favorite makeup products today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Look at this packaging, I can't get over it. This is so luxe summer, like it makes me feel like I'm on a yacht. I've never been on a yacht, but it makes me feel like I have been on a yacht and maybe I have a yacht. This eyeshadow palette stunned me. It definitely took me by surprise with how glowy it is. Shimmer is not the word. It perfects the upper eyelid crepiness. I am 34, about to be 35, so that's always a concern with shimmer. But this gives you a really beautiful, classy glow to the lids. And again, this is the shade 233 Eden Rock or the eyeshadow palette Eden Rock. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content so you see it pop up in your feed. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you. And what colors do you like to wear for summer? And don't forget that Dior does have some great Mother's Day gifts. The summer collection, I mean, I feel like if I was a mom, I would love for someone to give me the Dior summer collection. Thank you Dior for gifting me some of this collection. It was so fun to play with. I will have everything else I used and loved on my face in the info below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Happy almost summer. I can't believe it's May. What? That hurts my stomach. All right.